It's been a week of extremes in the Oklahoma sun. Triumph. Tragedy. Heartbreak. Now, on this final Sunday, one will emerge here in the heartland. Persevere through it all and lift that coveted Wanamaker trophy. This is the final round of the PGA Championship. EA Sports and the PGA Tour so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From Tulsa, Oklahoma and Southern Hills, final round coverage of the PGA Championship. What a week and weekend this has been so far. Everything you want in a golf tournament. By nightfall, we will have our winner as you take a look at the current leaderboard on this Sunday afternoon. The leader is the Canadian Corey Connors. He's at 18 under. Meanwhile, our featured golfer squarely in the hunt, trying to claim a major championship here at the PGA. Stuck the follow through right there. This could be really good. And first iron shot of the day and absolutely pipes it. Okay, a well played hole there. It is birdie to kick off the round. And he moves to 17 under par. That one gonna be in great shape. So following the birdie at one, a solid drive here at the second. Walking the course today, let's bring in Nota Begay the third. 157 to the hole, off to a great start with the birdie at the first, looking to make it two. And that ball looked very good in the air. Just doesn't quite finish up that near to the flag, but still on the green. Yeah, he had a pretty good run at that, but it won't go down. Still pretty good from there. Okay, that one finished off. Four apart. And he'll hold tight at 17 under par. Okay, that's going to be safely in the fairway, and that's where you need to play from if you're going to make a final round surge. Ready for a second shot, trying to knock it on the green. knew that was going to be a good shot when it left the club face. What's up? Eight or nine feet. Excellent shot. Eight feet now for birdie. Matt, that one's going to go begging. He misses right. Frustration there. Okay, safely in for his par. And he'll stay right where he is. Yeah, 
just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. And we know he can move it. That ball was absolutely bombed. Now comes the touch shot, 83, 84 yards. See if he can play that two check skipper and get it to stop. Ah, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. This one measures out to 15 feet. That one just going to sneak on by. He'll finish that one off with no problem. It's in for par. And he'll remain right where he is. will almost certainly necessitate a layup as that is into the bunker off the tee. I'll make sure you catch this cleanly as a second to the par five. Yeah, that's a good shot. Sand takes away any chance of going for the green in two, but this is a nice recovery here to get back on track. is going to likely be the shot of the day from distance. Just excellent contact off that club, off that lie, just improbable. And I mean, had a magnet on it right into the bottom of the cup. What a shot. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Yeah, that'll come up just a bit short, but I'll tell you what, from off the green, that's pretty well judged. That one finished off. It's in for par. And he's going to stay at 19 under par. This one starting up that left side. No fairway here. This one in that rough. Here at seven, this is second from off the fairway. Good clean contact and a nice result. And a chance for birdie coming up. Now note at this for birdie. And he's left this in a good spot. Very little break, maybe a hair to the right, but no real elevation changes at all. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And he'll stay right where he is.
All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. One thing's for sure, he's gonna have to hit this one with some pace traveling uphill much of the way. Look at this pot. That is something special right there. From that far away, to gauge that speed that is so well done. Okay, that in four par here at the eighth. And he'll remain right where he is. Yeah, that's a nice swing, and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. King cut back left here today as he stares down his second to the par four. Oh, this is an electric start. Already we're seeing birdies galore. And another great iron shot setting up another. Nothing to it. Well done. It's a birdie here at the ninth. And that will be a sizzling 31 on the front side. Four under par. Boy, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Now, no to his second from the fairway. Looking at 104 yards to the front, 119 to the hole, coming off a of birdie on the previous, looking for two in a row. Oh, this might be close. Oh man, it looked good initially, but rolled off the green and back into the fairway. That stings. Woo, Nelly. <laughs> Was just past the hall. A difficult putt coming now. Put a birdie on the card here yesterday, don't forget. Tough start to the backside, Frank. Yeah, it doesn't bode well, too. You start losing confidence with the putter early on. Mm, you can see the frustration building. That is not a great putt there. Okay, finished off there for double bogey. And that'll drop him out of the top spot and leave him a shot back. Oh, this could be good. Boy, he took that one way upstairs. Got a lot of air under it, and that allowed it to land softly. That's a nice shot. Hmm. Let's say he should have made that.
Okay, that one finished off for a par. And he'll remain at 18 under. Problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. 1 3 1 all the way to the flag today. And that wind is hearing from left to right, so you need to factor that in as you start this ball. And a good iron shot, just not quite as close as what we'd all want to finish, but still. Boy, this could be a tough one right here, Frank. It's a very long putt, Rich. Obviously, it's difficult, uh, but he still has a shot to sink this one for birdie. No, I think he knew it right when it left the putter face. Didn't get that far enough out to the right. Okay, safely in for his paw. And he'll stay right where he is. Somehow, the ball's got through the other side of the tree and really hadn't lost that much yardage. That's what he wanted to do. After the tee shot, puts himself in really good position here on the par five. This is a shade better than 50% on the make percentage. It's for birdie. Mm, confidently done there. That's in for birdie here at 13. He moves to 19 under for the tournament. That one going to wind up smack dab in the middle of the green. This will require the full attention. A huge swing left to right on this putt. Just trying to get it in there close. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'd call that an acceptable effort from that range. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And he'll remain right where he is. He just keeps motoring right along. Another good tee shot right there. From the fairway, Noda, this is second. And he is right on the number, 140 yards to the front, 146 to the hole. Pin is on the front left part of the green.
This one has a chance to be close. Rich, there's one thing about good iron play. When you hit it and it comes off the club face, you know it's going to be close. More evidence there. Ah, yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. And he gets it to 20 under par. Nothing a fault there. Good balance, good follow through, and a good start to this hole. Well within range from here. A second now to the par five. Good shot, that is home and two on the par five. Remember, made eagle earlier in the round, Frank. That may be a chance for a second. I know we can't call it a double eagle, but um, talk about aggression in these par fives. Way to stand up there and just hit the shot. Mm, that would have been a good one to convert on. Instead, that'll be left for birdie. Uh, this round finishing strong. Back-to-back -back birdies now at 15 and 16. And that is going to move him into the lead with just two holes to play. That a very important drive right there, holding a one-shot lead. But this is a good one in the fairway at 17. So after that bomb of a drive, this his second to the par four. Inexcusable. I think I'd be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. Yeah, that's a good pot. It is in for par here at 17. And the lead will stay at one with just the 18th hole left to play. Uh, it all looks so simple when you're going good, doesn't it? And that is yet another solid drive. That's got to be disappointing. Good line, the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. Oh, would you expect anything less with the way things are going? Everything is dropping right now, even balls from off the green. So another major title for our featured golfer, a first-time winner of the Wanamaker Trophy. And now, Frank, they've completed three-fourths of the career Grand Slam. But can their game travel, Rich? All three of those majors, as we know, were won on American soil. Can they do what Ben Hogan did? Make the trip and win in a foreign country. So that's a wrap. 
for all of us at EA Sports PGA Tour, thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time on the road to the Masters.